I want to know now, because we are uh, during the um, Georgianesco festival, how is Regina? Regina. Yes, Regina. how is Regina? Here we are without staging, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, actually um, she is poor girl. It's this um, kind of political, uh, child of political situation and uh, all her childhood, uh, practically she was uh, away, flow flowing away with uh, her father. So it's pretty dark childhood and um, as we can know uh, from the, her text uh, that she has no mother. Mm -hmm. So it's really um, a bit um, triste, how to say it. Sad, sad, difficult. All peace is uh, really very difficult, and politically, uh, with all this uh, situation, what was um, in that century. And what about the tessitura? The tessitura is not uh, very um, high. Normally, I used to sing Traviata, Lucia, and stuff like this. Mm -hmm. Uh, bel canto, and in German, um, Regina is not very high. Mm -hmm. It's, um, I think I have uh, luck to have most beautiful moments in the opera, and not so much orchestra, so I can mm -hmm. sing sometimes piano, and mm -hmm. really touchy moments, and uh, I like this. I was singing this role in um, 2013, mm -hmm. Theater an der Wien, with Bertrand de Billy and the staging of Keith Warner, and it was such an amazing production. And I'm so happy that I come back with this piece, with the, which I thought, okay, this I sing once, and uh, because Hinde mit Matis der Mala is not so, you can't, here it is everywhere, Here it is everywhere. everywhere. Yeah, it's not so popular. Mm -hmm. So I thought, okay, it will be once, and it's, uh, it was so pity. And uh, as this project came, I was so happy to repeat it, and uh, also to sing in an ESCO festival, which is uh, one of the most uh, important festivals now uh, in the whole world. So I'm happy to be here. <laughs> and with this piece, uh, of course, I have uh, connection to my uh, last time singing it and uh, here uh, with uh, another great colleagues and Maestro Foster, I'm working first time with him mm -hmm. and it's a pleasure that orchestra is so good, choir also, so I'm pretty enjoy. here uh, in Romania for the second time yes. because for uh, the third for the third yes mm, I, I remember you at the Le Grand Prix de l'Opera yes I had pleasure to yes to you, win you, it. you won the first prize first edition and, and I was prize. the first so I, I, I 
for me it's like you know touchy feeling yeah, yeah. to be uh, the first first uh, i mean it was also very good organized very professional mm -hmm. with this huge gala mm -hmm. Oof, everything was really really great so how important are the competitions in your life did uh, all these uh, prizes uh, um, i don't know all these if prizes they opened uh, yeah they helped you or opened the doors you needed to enter uh, i don't know some doors were open Yes, because, uh, for example, after uh, some competitions, I won prizes, uh, special prizes. Mm -hmm. uh, there were roles in the opera. So um, from this, I, in life, uh, I became one project in uh, St. Petersburg, in uh, Mikhailovsky Theatre. And, uh, and from another competition was um, Festival uh, Peralada. In Spain, which is pretty also important festival. So, from all my life with competitions, only these two projects, um, which were real connection to the competitions. Mm -hmm. I I will not speak about how many more prizes uh, like this I won, and today uh, were never alive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, I think that's. Um, for me, it was just important uh, and interesting uh, to know my level, to know uh, how people singing in another countries, of course, to get me um, known in, in another countries uh, through this, because in uh, jury, normally uh, sitting people who are important people. So, career. so at least I, I think that I get um, people know me a little bit more than if I was I, I would sitting at home and would not mm -hmm. do these competitions. But um, and I'm competition person, so for me it was just interesting to do this. And I know uh, a lot of many good singers they are not competition personality. They are like just lost in competition and they are great singers on stage. So I don't know if, if, if competition is so important to win them or of course it's nice for yourself if you win and more to know if you had nobody in jury behind you. Mm -hmm. So you know that your prize is real. They could not push you more down. And um, that's it about competitions. I, mm, I don't know if they open so many doors or if, mm -hmm. um, if they help career a lot. But of course, when you are young um, and you give your CV somewhere to, to try to get a job or to or go to opera studio to get to the um, one summer project or something, of course, if in CV is written first prize or second prize or important competitions, even if you come in the third round, mm -hmm. uh, big competitions, uh, it, it's important to get there. Also, if you are not uh, getting prize, any prize, so the people hear you and uh, the people know that you have this level if you get there. <laughs>
to know more about your collaboration with uh, the state uh, Hamburg Opera, because uh, for every young uh, um, opera singer, it's very important to have uh, a lot of roles to 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 learn and yes. to to have this experience on stage with uh, conductors, with great conductors, and. Um, let us hear something about that. Yes, it was um, the great eight years I, uh, in, at Hamburg State Opera. Mm -hmm. Now I left and I went uh, freelance because mm -hmm. I was thinking about uh, this many, many years. So we arrived at one point that I thought, now, now I should now do is this. The moment. <laughs> yes, it was more. Um, private reason. Mm -hmm. It was really at the um, top of theatre changed and they wanted me so I, I thought oh, when top changes uh, normally you have a lot of changes yes. and uh, many singers also mm -hmm. good singers contracts are stopping but in my case it was Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So uh, I thought, okay, maybe it's not the time to leave. <laughs> maybe somebody wants to say me something. But um, after this, I, I left because for, uh, privately I wanted just um, to, to be in another city. And uh, what about Hamburg? I came there in opera studio. Mm -hmm. I knew this is really a very this good, very important for very young good uh, opera studio, and uh, it is also maybe better for young singer mm -hmm. to go to the big house, mm -hmm. good organized, mm -hmm. and in opera studio where house let you to sing, mm -hmm. to be on stage, okay, yes. because there are also opera studios where you can't. Mm -hmm. In München, they are not singing so much. Mm -hmm. In Hamburg, uh, we were singing middle and also main roles sometimes. So um, I was singing Musetta, mm -hmm. yeah. being an opera studio, Oscar, Valenciennes, Lustige Witwe, which mm -hmm. uh, counts to big role yeah. already. So and a lot of small small parts. I hated mm -hmm. this, but it's really good experience. It's like a puzzle, you know, in opera. Yes. Yes, you are puzzle, mm -hmm. and you can't show your best. If you do the best, you are at least correct. <laughs> <laughs> if you are wrong, everybody will hear this. Mm -hmm. But if mm -hmm. you do your best, you are at least okay. <laughs> so uh, that's uh, that's why I hate the small roles. I I I need like space. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it was very important for me, and also to um, to sing with different conductors uh, and with stars on the same stage to hear them, just to hear them, how they're singing, you learn a lot of uh, practical things. Because we are young people, we are coming with a nice voice, a good technique and good prepared. Mm -hmm. But then you see this really practical things, where to sing, how to move, uh, which tricks they're using to be better mm -hmm. or just uh, not to give voice where all choir and orchestra are uh, doing tutti so yeah. you yeah. just yeah. have no chance you know so mm -hmm. to to be uh, to rest in in between in mm -hmm. beats so I and I had a lot of great colleagues the ensemble in Hamburg uh, w was and is really very nice people and I was um, enjoying uh, rehearsal time with them. So it's very important also. I can say that Hamburg is my home theatre.
Did you have any Romanian uh, colleagues there on stage a with lot, you? A lot, a lot. Tell us some George names. Petian there, mm -hmm. also Ad um, Adrian Sampetrian, yeah. uh, Cristina Damian. Uh, a lot. I can't now uh, tell you every. Uh, now, for example, Julia Dan mm -hmm. also singing there in, in ensemble, and there are. Everybody so nice and with such beautiful voices and such so professional. Mm -hmm. I think you have really good school here. You sang uh, Susanna, Lucia, um, Adele, uh, Musetta, yeah. a lot of roles, Traviata. and Traviata. Did you find it yourself in there or in there or in there? I not searching for myself in, in the role. Mm -hmm. I, but what I do is to, to, to let the role through yeah. me. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, like... Um, when you have, uh, when I'm singing Traviata, I know the story and I, I know what kind of woman was uh, mm -hmm. Violetta. Mm -hmm. So now, for example, if comes uh, such strange, crazy Regie which uh, wants to sell Traviata as a cheap uh, mm -hmm. prostitute, mm -hmm. it's, for me it's no go because I know that it was very intelligent and very interesting and high educated. Um, but if you have so a contract with uh, this role on this kind of regime, let us say, mm -hmm. you'll accept? I used to accept it mm -hmm. <laughs> because um, my dream was always uh, to not to, to work too much, to sing the best roles I prefer and uh, with the conductors I prefer and with staging I love. But uh, the reality shows that it's really a dream. And you can't, if I would uh, choose like this, no, this, uh, with, whom, with him I am not working, mm -hmm. uh, he uh, does uh, stupid regie, I am not working with him, mm -hmm. I'm not a diva to choose. Mm -hmm. And even if I would, there are so, so l not many possibilities to, mm -hmm. to have the whole packet, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. together. So uh, in Hamburg, I had also uh, my great experience of Regie Theater. Mm -hmm. uh, so, <laughs> and I did um, nearly all my role debuts, like Gilda, Lucia, Traviata, in four or five days, maybe one week. So uh, normally it was already done. And um, they, they are really very strict with, it should be like in the premiere. It's, it doesn't matter if in the premiere it was another thing, another conditions. They had uh, six weeks for doing the same what I'm doing now in four days. So, but you realized that um, what does not kill you, kills you, makes you stronger. stronger. So this was my way to accept and to do my best, because for me, a part of stupid regime, mm -hmm. I, I used to strange regime, you know, the, they, they think they transmit to public, but public does not understand. Mm -hmm. what they wanted to do. So I, I used to be 
often often in in this kind of uh, staging mm -hmm. and um, the my point was the singing has the priority maybe Anna Netrebko maybe she can choose but I I heard or also that Georgiou. or Georgiou yes they can they I don't know if they choose but they can leave mm -hmm. if they don't want mm -hmm. to do this stuff they just leave and uh, they have status I'm not in this uh, category not yet, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> It's important to you to uh, to sing in a um, uh, place uh, in a hall with a good acoustic, yes. with good acoustic, of course. and or this kind of hall gives you many questions. You know, Hamburg uh, has also more dry acoustic, and uh, that was good for me. Because mm -hmm. if you learn uh, to sing in this kind of acoustic, uh, acoustic you will not be used to push mm -hmm. because uh, to sing big roles and uh, like Treviata or Lucia in Hamburg, they are open without cuts. If you will push, you will not finish mm -hmm. the, the performance. Mm -hmm. So I'm used to this. It's, it's for me, it's not so easy because I'm here, ear person. Mm -hmm. I, I love to hear my voice when it comes back. Here um, is not coming at all. Mm -hmm. No, this is not so mm. bad feeling singing, but um, this hall made for orchestra, yeah. not for singing. I mean, mm -hmm. for such huge voices like uh, my partners uh, on stage, they open their mouth and for, for them it uh, mm -hmm. doesn't matter, <laughs> acoustic, but uh, I think if, if uh, they would put away this um, car carpet, and uh, to change a little bit with uh, wood uh, seats, it would be better acoustic here. But uh, I'm lucky because uh, my parts are more soft parts, so I'm not mm -hmm. screaming mm -hmm. person in this opera.
What do you think about um, Katerina Tretiakova? I don't know. <laughs> don't ask me about her because I can tell you a lot of uh, uh, stuff. Maybe I don't like her. Normally I'm okay. I, I mean, of course, I speak with myself, but I try to be positive. I try to be open. I try to be nice, not to... Um, I'm not a person who getting so easy to conflicts. I don't like me when I scream or when I... Um, this energy, negative energy, it destroys me. I need time after, if I had this, I need time to, to get away. That's why I'm trying to stay positive and to, to be open till it's possible. And what about the artist, Katarina Tretiakova? Mm, she could be better. She always could be better. When I hear my recordings, I always think, I thought I did better. <laughs> so, I don't know. I, I mean, um, me, to have me like artist, I think not so bad because I'm I try to be professional. I am very good um, for berated, how to say, prepared. prepared. Uh, doesn't matter if I have done it in the last few days, but I, I arrived to the first re rehearsal always prepared the role from the beginning till end. Doesn't matter from which kind of opera to which part of opera. So when I see something does not work, I just say. I just say, you know, I think this does not work. And then we 
they tried to explain me that it works, it works, or something like this. And then, like in Hamburg, I told many times, I saw this staging, I have not understood nothing. So they have, after this, no, no comments. So I, I tell just, with the, this, I will not do because ten, 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 ten. But um, I try, at least I try. And I met a lot of Italian singers who um, were doing with me uh, projects with strange things. I mean, you telling one and you see the person or something like this. And they were doing. And I thought, why I am the only one who makes uh, questions here? Maybe I am like an um, idealist, you know? I, 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 mm -hmm. I want the per perfection, perfectionist. Mm -hmm. I want that everything will be great. And a lot of singers, they have just the experience that it's better not to get uh, lost time with discussions about something with stage directors. So it's good to be. Sempre libera. Yes, yes, it's good. Or I leave, or I, I stay and I do my best to make production better. Wenn ich dich begleite. 